you know, why don't we just take all these polar bears and round them up on giant tankers and take them to Antarctica and start reinvigorating the populations there? Wouldn't that work? Excellent question, and one that's often raised. The big difference is that, you know, we look at Arctic, the Arctic and the Antarctic, and we think they're fundamentally the same because they're, you know, they're both very cold. The Antarctic, and specifically the continent of the Antarctic, is a, a much more difficult environment than the Arctic. Um, there's just not enough to sustain polar bears in the Antarctic. Uh, they would probably rip through the continent's penguin populations in a matter of years. That would be the end of it. Um, polar bears are very specifically adapted. They, they eat a number of different spe seal species, but they're very specifically adapted to eat a very particular uh, species of Arctic seal called the ringed seal. And the reason they've adapted to um, eat them is because ringed seals use these uh, uh, claws to make breathing holes for themselves and polar bears are basically able to focus on the breathing holes of the, of the ring seals. But there's nothing like that for polar bears to survive on. The ocean already, the ocean around Antarctica already has a dominant predator in the form of orcas. Uh, there's just, there would just be no niche in which polar bears could fit. And the Antarctic, as cold as the Arctic is, the Antarctic is much, much, much colder and much harsher. So it, A, that wouldn't work. And secondly, Although it's been very interesting, and, and no one's entirely sure why, uh, although there are competing theories, although Antarctic sea ice has actually been very slightly increasing over the last number of years, even as, even as Arctic sea ice has declined, we don't know if it's a temporary blip or not, but this last year it's decreased dramatically, and we don't know whether that's flipping uh, and, well, we just lost the Larsen Sea Shelf, no? Right. Well, you've got two different things going on here. So you've got the Antarctic sea ice surrounding the continent, which is the rough equivalent of what polar bears deal with. Um, and then you have uh, uh, landfast glacial ice, uh, the ice sheets uh, and so on uh, around Antarctica. And they are indeed far from growing. They're disappearing. The other thing, by the way, with the whole polar bears to the Antarctic thing, is there's a difference in the way that the sea ice behaves around the Antarctic as the way it, to which it behaves in the Arctic. Basically, it stays in the Arctic all year round. It melts considerably during the summer, but there's still some there, and there's a place for the polar bears to, to kind of hang out, and then it grows again in winter. It pretty much all disappears completely in the Antarctic and then starts all over again. So the nature of that ecosystem down there is more different than you would expect uh, even though they are both sea ice environments.